which is you learn the don'ts of animation, like based on, for instance, you get the board from the board artist, then they go to the revisionist, and they have notes from the director. So you learn a lot of the don'ts. You learn a lot of like the, the director's way of looking at things. And then you become a storyboard artist, right? Now, the storyboard guy is someone who, well, you guys animations, they, they, do the, they draw the comic book version of the film. And the really cool thing about being a storyboard artist is that eventually you become a director. And it's really easy for you to direct everybody. Because you know you plan your shots, you, 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 you learn to tell a story better, and story is the most important thing. Oh, who would like to be a writer? I'm the only screenwriter in the club. Right on, man. I'm telling you, it all, it all stems from writing. And if you can draw, it's even better because you can convey ideas better. In my sketchbooks, you'll see, like, I write. Uh, who has a sketchbook, by the way? You guys still have sketchbooks, right? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let me tell you something about a sketchbook. Um, what, how I landed a career in character design was because of my sketchbook. And in my sketchbook, what I what I did was I, you know, just rough sketches. You know, a lot of people they worry about the line and how the line looks on the outside. But with a sketchbook, you kind of like can get to fool around and just draw like the gesture, right? Like gesture is the most important part of the character, especially character, because you're drawing people. And like they say, where words end, art begins. Meaning, a drawing can 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 say or communicate what words can, and that is gesture. And gesture is is people. People are gesture, how they will communicate. Like they said, they say it's ten percent how you give a handshake, it's ten percent I mean it's ninety percent gesture, it's ninety percent how you shake a hand, how how you walk, if you're tired. Like when you draw the models, how the, how the models are like when you enjoy the pose, they're like like more rhythm, they're about to throw something. I mean, it speaks, it's speaking all the time. And then they say 10% is what, what you say, you know? So, and I find that to be very true. So, the sketchbook, let me try my part sketchbook. The sketchbook got me the job at Disney as a character designer because they were able to see that I had different styles. And what I did in school was I copied everyone. I copied everyone's style. So, at the end of the year, I didn't have a style of my own. I had everybody's styles and then I learned to mix and match them. And as a character designer, that's really important to be a chameleon. I understand the shapes and, and the medium and then be able to replicate it. And we all started this way. We would watch TV, watch Batman with we Smurfs. So for me, it was He-Man a long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He-Man. <laughs> He, he may, I, I would sit there in front of the TV, and I remember it was black and white, by the way. <laughs> Pretty old school. Mm -hmm. and, and I was able to, to draw like, he man and color cats, and they actually kept moving. I mean, my drawings were, I would, I would call them now just like cute, okay? But yeah. <laughs> you could tell it was he man. And, um, and that's what we all do. Now, before I start, I'd like to talk a little bit about my background. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Um, I worked for Walt Disney as a character designer and I've been working there for 18 years, about 18 years, I'm close to that, and I started when I was 20 years old, and I went to school where luckily Ken was teaching, and it was, um, in, it was a school in Santa Monica, and it was a year program, it was really fast, and what we did was life drawing and perspective and a little bit of Photoshop in True Space, which was our, our, our 3D program at the time. And and it was just like, every day, it was just life drawing, gesture drawing, three minute poses, five minute poses, 25 minutes were the longest, I think. And I remember that before Ken Jones came to school, we had a guy who was um, a life drawing instructor, but he was more a portrait, so we would do two minute two hour, an hour pose, and we're just like, trying to learn, learn, learn. Then Ken came and kind of broke us out of that and, and made us do things faster and it became so much fun because then after, when you, after you do 30 second poses, when you go back to do a five minute pose, it feels like 25 minutes you're there. And you learn, and you, you see how much you're learning. Because drawing the body, before you guys go, you guys have to learn life drawing. 
Because once you learn to draw light tone, you can draw anything in the world. Because if you draw a lion, we all can draw a lion and kind of fake it here. Everybody's like, oh, that's a perfect lion. You know, you can do your cheats. But with a human figure, you know that its little things are off. This thing is off. So it becomes more challenging. So it pushes you to, to, to be kind of like a perfectionist and have fun with it and get, get these flowing drawings. And that's where you get the gesture from. And it's easier for character, it's easier for animation, it's easier for anything. Now, um, then I did that for a whole year. And uh, I remember in 1996, I got hired at Disney. I was 20 years old at the time. And I remember what really got me in there was my sketchbook. And they put me in a position that it's really hard to get in because which is character design, which is which is hard to get in because for every show there are there's one character designer, at least for television. Now for storyboards there are twelve, maybe sixteen people doing storyboards, right? Prop designer there are two or one prop designer. Background designers depends there are two or sometimes three depending how the show is, and um, and, and so on. But um, I remember that when I started Disney, I was just like, oh my god, I just went from like starving artist to like, to like someone that had reached the goal, because it was always been my dream to work for, for a company in animation, especially Disney. And I remember that I learned from everyone else. I learned from watching our senior designers draw. I learned from watching them draw, and it took the time to Teach me how to do turnarounds. Who's, everyone's familiar with turnarounds, right? Mm -hmm. Expressions. You know, we're just watching, draw and draw and draw. And that's that's basically how I learn by watching other people draw and copying their styles. And to this day, I'm still learning. I'm still learning from from other people with different styles. I mean, this is a kind of career where it keeps. It's really refreshing because different challenges, different people. You have to stay kind of like. Humble, so there's space inside of you to keep learning, understanding, and sharing ideas too. Now, uh, before I forget, also, you guys are here, right? Make friends with each other. Like, get to know each other. You guys have a studio here because later on, somebody will land a director. <laughs> it has to be. Like, we're going, out, we're retiring. The new fresh blood is coming in. It's, and then, and the other person maybe we know what you're doing, it'll help you out. A lot of times we try to like like beat everyone to the finish line, you know, but there's so much work out there and and for me if I run out of job, I always call my friend and Simpson's that one, be like, what's going on over there? Oh, we're doing this, come over. And it's just you need a portfolio. I don't I don't have a portfolio. You know, it's just who, it's actually who knows you. Or who do you know, whatever you guys want to call it. And you know, because Life, you know, life, we're, we're doing this to kill two birds, one stone. Do something you love and get paid for it, right? So I guess that's something I wish somebody had told me when I started, yeah? yeah. And, um, and let me show you, um, let me show you some stuff that I'm working on right now, the, the current stuff, that it's something that uh, is in development, because I do this thing called freelance. And I do it because it allows me to meet other people and also do um, learn from other styles, right? So this show is a wrestling show, and it's so it's supposed to be like super like secret, yeah. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, so, uh, so real quick, guys, uh, two quick things. Uh, number one, the air conditioning's off right now. I'm gonna see if I can get that turned on so we're not all burning up. And uh, we're gonna take a break around two o'clock. So uh, we'll take about like 10, 15 minutes break. Right yeah, yeah, excellent, excellent. Right. Oh, but before I show you this, anyone's inter anybody's interested in anything in particular? If there are two chairs over there. Would you like to sit down? Okay. Um, anyone, anything in particular you guys to learn, you want to focus on? Anything, anything, anything. Well, do, don't be shy. I'm seriously. Well, I kind of want to know, like, how do you start off with, like, a character design in general? Like, how do you focus on, like, what's the first step that you would try to do? 
This is the side view. Okay. Three quarter would be like right about there. The back view. You can turn down when you're playing a character and creating all those photos. Yeah, they do okay. turn around. So then, and the reason why we do turn around so quick, because I'll show you, is, is so that there's one designer, right? So the designer, you create a blueprint of the character. So what you want to do is, there's one designer, so one designer draws it, so he gets the proportions, right? So then everyone can draw the same thing. Even goes to animators and stuff like that. That's what there are. Two character designers because then the character may change a little, like proportions. And when you're animating, you become very technical, like length and how many heads high it is. So you kind of keep control of that with the turnarounds. Um, but we'll totally cover that turnarounds and the brainstorming. I like that question too because um, we can clear that. Um, now you talking about brainstorming. Okay, let's use this example for for, for an answer the question. Um, are there other questions? Right. Have you guys had anyone come in before? Because I know, I, I know Robert. Robert works with us, right? Yeah. He's here, and he's that guy, he's just, man, I, for a start, that guy is just so, such a giver. And then he's such a he's right person, he's, right, he's a good person, good human human being, you know? Like, huh? I mean, like, I go to film school like on the same campus, right? But I mean, I've, I've always wanted to write and produce animation. Uh -huh. But the thing is, is that like when I met Professor St. Pierre, we never even knew each other. Then he invited me to a party, you know, at, at the Animation Guild, and, I, and I'm like, he sent me an invitation. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know who I am. And he's like, he's like, come join the club. I'm like, I, I, I will do that. And best dress I made all semester. I'm telling you, man. Professor St. Pierre is like, it's like that. You know what I mean? That's that's such a good quality to have being human beings, you know, and just, and, and, and that guy is so talented and so humble too, that guy can, can morph styles and, I mean, you have really good people here helping you out and, you know, your setups are like so nice, <laughs> and, you know, you know, and, you. and another point I like to make is that I'm an immigrant from El Salvador, he was 12 years old, and, and, I saw so much opportunity, and the reason why I'm sharing that with you is because at Disney, we're all immigrants they're from Bulgaria, from France, from from the East Coast, from all over the place, and they come down to do this, and you guys are already here. <laughs> <laughs> like, you hear people that put all of their belongings in a car from some country from San Francisco, and they just, just go to Hollywood, they just go to see if they can make it, and, and some of them do. You know, because, Anyway, um, moving on, yes, I'm curious, awesome. Brainstorming. I'm working freelancing, it is hush hush, and I'll share with you because I think it's one of the freshest things I have, and it's like a way to, to share something with you guys and hopefully learn something. So keep it easy. <laughs> um, an easier way to get into the industry like that, it's by creating a show. And you guys know what's cool more than I do, you know? And you guys are watching the scenes out there. So, the easiest way is to do a pitch, create a Bible. A Bible is like a story with pictures. Very simple, and before I leave, I'll show you guys that too, okay? So when you guys prepare here and you guys are drawing, you're constantly coming up with ideas, you put them in a format that you you guys can use for a pitch, or perhaps, I don't know, play it in the internet, because now the internet has opened up so many ways to put something interesting up there. And if you guys are with your parents and stuff like that, you guys have plenty of time to do this. So, um... Let me see if I can get to my folder from here. 